Ja. six pounds this is your division two state final state of ohio ohsaa state finals Barrett jordan from st paris graham in the black singlet his opponent from aurora cody cuervo cuervo in the singlet with the green trim he's gonna have the green ankle band and Jordan from Graham black singlet red ankle band Jordan a freshman nationally ranked and number two takedown there Cuervo grabs the first two. The junior from Aurora, number two ranked wrestler in this weight class. So we got one versus two here, as should be the case. Nationally, as I said, ranked number two at this weight class. Finds himself in an early hole here, 0-2. Looking for a reversal is Jordan. Working for a two here. And there's the one escape. Jordan up and out. We are neutral wrestling. Two to one to score. First period's gonna end in favor of the junior from Aurora. Cuervo in the lead, two to one. We'll start the second period, neutral wrestling. A reshot there by Cuervo. Wrapped 
up around the waist is Jordan. That's two there. Cuervo bails out. And Jordan takes the lead, 3-2. 30 seconds left in the second. Short time in the second here. Choice goes to green. Quibble's gonna choose down. Down by one. And Jordan says, I'm gonna let him up. We're gonna Go neutral wrestling here, tied to start the third. This is 106 pound finals, Division II, State of Ohio. Brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. And we are all tied up here. 140 left in the match. Let's see some wrestling. Trying to dump off that takedown is Jordan popping ahead, and Jordan grabs the two. Five to three, 126 left in the match. He's in the lead by two. Coaches say, let's cut him and go for another. Five four, five four, 106 left. Jordan lets him up. Forty-five seconds left in this bout. Now Derek Jordan from St. Paris Graham in the lead by one, scores five to four. Inside of thirty seconds now. You gotta think Cuervo's gotta go. He's going double unders. Jordan back in there. Jordan got a head in the hole. Trying to come around for the two. Wizard is in there. Cuervo and eating up time is Jordan. Jordan's gonna do it. Five to four. Your 106 pound state champ freshman from St. Paris Graham, Barrett Jordan. Senior. He's taking on Marlon Yarbrough from Copley. Yarbrough also a senior. Two seniors going at it at 13 right now. Crosby 
Michelle from that leg trying to go behind and the breakdown. And there's the three there. Striking first is Crosby from St. Vincent, St. Mary. Up and away is Yarbrough. Two to one. 120 left in the first. down here. Crosby can do it. Nope. Jumping over his Jarbrough, so no takedown there. Two to one. Crosby in the lead by one. Just inside of a minute left in the first. Ah. Nice little edge wrestling there by Crosby. But let's reset in the middle. 24 seconds left in the first. Two to one. Crosby in the green with the green ankle bands. Yarbrough in the black singlet with the red ankle bands. Crosby. He's going to run out of time on that shot. We're going to do a little bit of blood time here. Brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. Cut the blood time. Start. Crosby chooses the down position. Yarbrough covers. Up and away is Crosby now three to one. Oh, immediate shot there by Yarbrough. And he's got no two on the edge. And that looked like what may be the equalizer. Referees are gonna talk about it. And we do go to 3-3. Equalizer on the edge as Jarborough takes Crosby down. 142 left in the second.
mud time here. Green. Five to four lead for the senior from Copley. Once again, coaches, if you have a rest for the wrestling in the finals, upon the completion of this finals match, win or lose, please head over to the auxiliary gym and get your photograph taken on the podium. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. Like about time. So bottom, caution. Inside of a minute, in the second, we've got fireworks here at 113. And an R going the other way, 2R. Reversal. Jarbo says, you're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it too. Seven to six now. One point lead the other way, Yarbo. Tied up, 18 seconds, so inside 20 seconds, neutral wrestling. Second period, seven to seven. Still bleeding there? Green on blood time. Okay, good, got it, top blood time. I'm going to restart. 18 seconds left in the second. It's all tied up at seven. This is your 113 pound final brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. We are neutral wrestling here. 15 seconds. Short time. Yarbrough in deep. There almost puts, almost puts Crosby on his back. And that too was short time in the second. Yarbrough's feeling it. Like I said earlier, we've gone back and forth in this match. Two point lead for Yarbrough. He just chooses to go down. Crosby says, let him up. 10 to 7. Three points. And a second caution, second caution green, second caution green. Three points separate these two. Shot there, double. Yarbrough in the lead by three. Another snag there, low pick, ankle pick. 7 now, 133, and is five points going to be good enough in a match like this to get it done? We will see, 126 left. Yeah. 
Showing by Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Cradle. And Clayton breaks it. Down to the mat they go. Second, four to one. Pierre Clayton in the lead by three. Near fall, attempt. to start the third period. Pierre Clayton in the lead by three. <laughs> Low shot there by McCrone. Brendan McCrone in deep. Looking to double off there for two. As McCrone rolling through. Clayton got a scramble here.
Crone wanting to come out the back door. Higher hips are gonna win this one. Oh, we got potentially dangerous. Mutual wrestling, four to one. Clayton in the lead by three. One minute left, and nice inside shot there. Ankle secure. Stepping over is McCrone. Plenty of time to try to finish this here. He's in very deep and bailing out is Clayton. Now one point separates these two. And McCrone says, let's go neutral. 35 seconds left in the match two points Clayton in the lead five to three 27 seconds shot by McCrone double reshot by McCrone send it off and gets to the right leg does McCrone and got that Clayton trying to send it off at the crotch lock rolling through is Clayton trying to eat up time nine seconds left and we're flat on the mat here. Clayton going to win this one at 120 pounds. Your state champ from Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary, Pierre Clayton. From St. Vincent, St. Mary. Brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. That's Nolan Gessler from Graham in the black singlet. And his opponent, Elijah Stevens from Licking Valley. Blue singlet. Nice low shot there by Stevens. Wow, Elijah Stevens, an animal the last two days on a Cinderella run, up ending. Returning state champ, Lautzenheiser from Louisville on en route to this finals match. The Licking Valley Junior. State qualifier last year. Oh, nice low shot there. Stevens. Trying to finish this off, and nice hips there by Gessler. And Stevens takes down Gessler. Gessler, a returning state place winner in 2019, taking third at 106. State qualifier last year, currently ranked number two in this weight class. Stevens ranked 10th. Reversal by Gessler evens the score and tilt. We got a two count. We got a three count. So tilt there for Gessler. Two near fall added four to two. Inside 45 seconds in the first.
30 seconds. from that tilt, six to two. The junior from Graham in the lead by four, neutral wrestling to start the second. think that's going to be there, so they let him up. 46. Stevens down by two. Kessler returns the favor. So we go to reversal. Two reversal, so eight to four. Seconds, 27 to be exact. Left in the second period, eight to four. Gessler in the lead by four. St. Paris Graham in the team lead. Looking to recrown themselves. Again, with a Division II state title. Gessler's going down to start the second, or third rather. Gessler down to start the third. Up and away. Nine to five. Five now, Kessler gets the takedown. 
One minute left in the match. Escape Stevens. 11 6. Championship at 126 gives up a reversal. 13 8, and your winner at 126 brought to you by Defense Soap from St. Paris Graham. Senior taking on Pablo Castro, Castro from Louisville, black singlet, blue trim, red ankle band. State qualifier from last year. Castro currently ranked number five, soon to change in the rankings, seeing himself in the finals here at 32.
seconds left. There's no score in this match at 132. Castro looking behind, looking for two there, securing the ankle. Is Castro hasn't gotten cleared the arm yet? Two there, reversal, Castro. First points of this bout at 132. Goes to the Louisville wrestler in the form of a reversal. Potentially dangerous. 122 left in the second. Two, looking to ride this period out.
55 seconds left in regulation here. Butler from Copley in the lead, 3-2. attempt. Castro controlling the head is Butler. Inside of 30 now. So that's a point, ties it up, seven seconds left. Injury time with one or two seconds left. We're all tied up. Butler hit with a stall early on in the match. Comes back to haunt him later on. Bonus wrestling at 132. Sudden victory brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. 132 pounds. Tyron Butler from Copley. His opponent, Pablo Castro from Louisville. This is your state final division two. Shot there by Castro in deep. Potentially dangerous, 31 seconds left in sudden victory. Caution, caution, red. Twenty-five seconds left in sudden victory, 132 pounds. Second short time, sudden victory. <laughs> Tiebreaker one, tiebreaker one at 132. Who doesn't like bonus wrestling on a Saturday night? Aaron Butler in the yellow singlet. Gonna go down, we are all tied up at three. First tiebreaker. We're gonna see what happens in 30 seconds here and then reset for another 30. Castro covers, boots go in. seconds left on the clock for tiebreaker one. Butler goes back down, Castro covers. So penalty point goes to Green. Butler scores on the penalty, trying to get away, short time, Castro puts him back down. Four to three, we're gonna go to another tiebreaker, and of course Castro's gonna choose down to start this 30 reset. Okay now, thank you guys. Castro needing an escape to tie this thing back up. Tyron Butler from Copley in the lead by one, looking for a ride. The 
Fifth in return. 17 seconds. 13 seconds. Eight seconds. Castro up and out. We are tied up. 4-4. Four, four. Three, two, one. Let's run off the time in ultimate or in tiebreaker two. All right, here we go. Castro chooses to go down. This is ultimate tiebreaker here at 132. Brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. Castro gets out, he wins. If Butler rides out, he wins. 17 seconds down on the legs, comes back up to the hips, trying for a ride, 12 seconds. Butler, nine seconds, and out on the leg. Stalemate, four seconds. Stalemate, four seconds left on the clock. Tied up at four. Kyron Butler basically with criteria here. With the ride out, he's got a ride out four seconds. We're gonna see some magic here from Castro at 132 pounds. Division two, final ultimate tiebreaker here. Let's see what we got. Castro up and Bambi. And your winner at 132, riding out ultimate tiebreaker, Kyron Butler gets it. HSAA State Finals. Nick Moore from St. Paris Graham in the black singlet taking on Davin Rhodes from Louisville. He's got the black singlet with the blue. Moore's got the red ankle band, likes to go upper body, likes to go big. Rhodes with the green ankle band. Had a great matchup here. In the finals at 38. Go behind, take down by Moore. He strikes first, lets him up, 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two to one early on in this match at 138. Double unders for Rhodes. Moore pushing away, doubles off, does Rhodes. And Wizard goes in for Moore. Right about, guys. left in the first period. Two to one in favor of Nick Moore from St. Paris Graham. Nick Moore, a two-time, a two-time runner-up, taking second in 2018 at 126. Runner-up in 2019 at 132. And of course, a state qualifier last year before COVID stopped. Ohio short. Davin Rhodes, 
Gavin Rhodes, a returning state champion at 126 in 2019. And he placed seventh in 2018, so two-time state placer, state champion Rhodes from Louisville. And of course, he was a state qualifier last year as well. Titan matchup here at 138. at the end of the first period, four to one. Yeah, that was fast. Those Merkles are... They were there, though. Three-point lead for Moore as he goes down. Rhodes will cover to start the second period. Circles back in five to one, one twenty seven left in the second. Five to one, searching for his first state title. Defend what you were built. And 
Inside a minute, 30. Moore in the lead by one, 5-4. Warning goes against Moore. One minute left in the match. Moore in the lead by one. He's got a warning against him now. Rhodes goes double unders. Moore pushing out, trying to circle in. Moore trying to circle in. No takedown, no takedown. Forty seconds left. Five to four. More in the lead. Rhodes goes back to those unders, trying to push. Circle in is more. Trying to push a stall, and there it is. Stall goes point. Tied up. Five five. Twenty two seconds left. We are all tied up. Moore takes a shot. He's in. Low single. Wizard goes in for Rhodes. Thirteen seconds left. Trying to cover his more for two. Lift and return, and he'll have it. Ducking under his Rhodes. Rhodes ducks under. No takedown. We're still tied up at six. We're neutral. Gotta love the wrestling. 138 pounds. Two hammers going at it here in Ohio. We might see some bonus wrestling here. Nothing happens. Rhodes is in on a leg. Short time. Time runs out. Time runs out. Time was called. 5-5. We're going to have sudden victory at 138. Nick Moore looking for his first title. Rhodes looking for his second. We have sudden victory wrestling here. Highland High School. Heart of Ohio, Division Two, 138 pounds, two hammers going at it here. Rhodes likes that under position. He's got over under. But don't forget, Moore likes to throw. Seven seconds in sudden victory, all tied up at five. 138 pounds. Brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. Rhodes double under deep, pushing towards the edge. We do have a stall already against Moore. Moore trying to push in and grabs the ankle, does Rhodes looking for the takedown too on the edge. And Rhodes is gonna be the champ at 138. Moore gives it up in sudden victory. Davin Rhodes, your champ. At 138, returning state champ, does it again. And Moore is three times the bridesmaid.
five, 145 pounds. Division two state finals. Brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. Alec Martin in the black singlet from St. Paris Graham. He's a senior. Taking on Logan Hours. Hours from Beaver, Lisbon Beaver. He is a junior. He's in the red singlet with the red ankle band. Shot there by Hours in deep. And converts the two within 20 seconds. Hours gets the takedown. Hours unbeaten this year. State qualifier from last year. State place winner in 2019, taking sixth at 120 pounds. Alec Martin, the senior from Graham. Currently ranked number four in the nation. South Dakota State commit is Martin. State champ in 2019 at 138. Now, Hours is looking for a turn. And bailing out is Martin. State runner-up in 2018, Alec Martin. stall on hours. First period, stall warning. Hours with another shot there, in deep. Got two legs secured. He's gonna have to wrap around there as Martin's got the crotch lock. He's got time to finish this if he can. 35 seconds left in the first. Stalemate. 19 seconds left, two to one. Hours in the lead by one. down to start the second. Two to one lead for Hours. Logan Hours in the lead by one. Four one. Yeah. 
Second period, hours in the lead by three. Seconds left in the second period. 43 in favor of Logan Hours from Beaver. He doesn't like a little bit of neutral wrestling. Four to three. Powers in the lead by one. Two minutes are on the clock. This is third period. 145 pounds. State final. Division two. OHSAA. Brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. Dropping in on a leg is ours. He's got that leg in tight, head inside. Takedown could be critical either way. Four to three, hours in the lead by one. Martin needs it bad. Still neutral. Still neutral. Still neutral. Still neutral. Seven seconds left in the third. Four to three. Logan Hours in the lead at 45 here. Martin needing a takedown. Head goes in the hole. Looking to spin this off. Looking for a takedown is Martin. Ten seconds left. Short time. Martin needs to get it. Hours trying to defend. One step over. Martin trying to go behind. Two and get it. Three seconds on the clock. And Alex Martin secures a takedown with short time to get the crown at 145. Wow. Martin getting it done in short time and grabbing that title. Yeah. 
big match here at 52, 152. Division two state finals brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. Front headlock there, blue singlet with the white trim. That's Douglas Terry from Granville. He's a state runner up in 2019 at 145. State qualifier last year, of course. From Warren, his opponent ranked number one in this weight class, jacks up Terry. And take down two on the edge, Peyton Keller. Waved off, waved off. So no score there for Keller. Keller, a two-time state place winner. State qualifier last year. Took seventh in 2019 at 26, so 126. He took fifth in 2018 at 106. Finds himself up here at 152, taking on a runner-up. Keller undefeated, coming into this tournament. Obviously won every match here in Highland High School. Douglas Terry looking for two. Out of bounds. Terry, the number two ranked wrestler in this weight class, Keller number one. First period's gonna end 0-0, no score. 152 pounds. Keller goes down. Terry will take the top position. Terry's saying, let's go neutral. So it gives up the point, does Douglas Terry from Granville. Keller. Terry got his hips back though. Trying to square up. And we are out of bounds. Nice fight there for both parties. No takedowns given. Scores one to zero. Keller in the lead. After Terry decided the second period start would be neutral start giving up a point one to zero Douglas Terry down by one stop at the blood time Keep 
Second, right now, looking to backfire against Terry, but Terry chooses to go neutral. Trying to get back to that neutral wrestling in very low is Keller. Keller now fighting this off, and he comes out with higher hips. Nice scramble here at 152. Now Keller high. And two takedown red. So Peyton Keller in the lead now. 3-0. Douglas Terry needs to pop his head for a reversal here. Terry looking for 2-R. 115 left. Needs to get on the board, does Terry. One minute, one minute left. 3 0, Keller. Stalemate. that position. Keller looking like he was high, but resets. That boot is high. Back down on the hip. 33 seconds left. Peyton Keller in the lead. 3-0. Short time now at 152. Keller looking to just ride this out. 3-0. Peyton Keller looking for his first state title. 152. Gives up the escape there late on by 3-1. The so way this one's got to end. on the left from Licking Valley. Red, white, and blue singlet. His opponent from Ontario, Ethan Turnbaugh. Turnbaugh looking for a takedown. Stepping over is Dodson. Stretching that arm out. Dodson diving under. We got a good scramble here for the fellas at 60. Dylan. Did we go two? We went two. We called two. Are we going to keep two? No takedown. The referee waves it off. No takedown. Nice scramble there for the guys at 160. Come on, let's go. 
Caution on Dotson. Dylan Dotson, returning state place winner, taking fifth in 2019 at 152. State qualifier last year. Turnball, ranked number one in this weight class. Turnbull turning into it is Dotson taking advantage of that. Nice job there by Dotson and he puts Turnbull on his back. Two takedowns plus three near fall, five for the senior from Licking Valley. Second period, Dotson in the lead, 5-1, takes the top position, Turnbull looking for a reversal, escape, anything here. He's out front, so probably one coming. Yep, there it is. In it is Turnball, five to four. Now 121 left in the second. One point separates these two. Dylan Dotson in the lead. second. Trying to turn. Dodson swiftly gets out of that. on the clock, five to four, Dylan Dotson in the lead by one. Third period, 160 pounds. Go to the wrist! Come on, good pressure on your toes, good pressure. Watch this, watch this. Come on, he wants it. Get to it, come on. Wrist, 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 come on, get to it. Keep rushing, keep rushing. 
Traction on the edge. Traction on the edge. 134 left in the match. Dachshund in the lead by one, five to four. He's on the bottom there. Dumbin' Turnball lets him up. One takedown. Two points separates these two. Dotson in the lead by two. See what happens here. Here goes Turnball. Caught by Dotson. Wrestlers look a little tired. Nice high crotch attempt there by Dotson. Dump attempt again. Keeps coming. Is Turnball rather, not Dotson. Turnball coming. He's got the leg. Dotson on the edge. No. And picks the ankle. Dotson grabs the ankle. Hips are fine here. 44 seconds. Dotson looking to convert the two. And goes behind. Turnball squeaks out. 33 seconds left. Dylan Dotson in the lead, six to four. Twenty-five second sprint here for the guys at 160. Brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. Dylan Dotson from Licking Valley in the. Two point lead, six to four, looking to finish this thing off. 13 seconds left. Dotson looking for his first state title. Turnball trying to fend off this shot. Dotson in the lead by two. That's going to do it. Dotson covers and takes the lead. Finishes actually with the eight to four, eight to four victory. Four point victory for Dylan Dotson from Living Valley. At 170 pounds, for competitors, returning state place runner from Tempest, Columbia, with a record of 47 wins against Melvin Beats, a junior, Brody Conley. And his opponent, from Hartley High School, likewise unbeaten on the year, a sophomore, Dylan Newsom. Hundred and seventy pounds, two undefeated wrestlers here. Division two, OHSAA, State of Ohio Wrestling. Brody Conley from Tiffin Columbia. Nationally ranked. He's in the blue singlet with the yellow and the green ankle band. Conley goes quick to work. That's been his MO for this whole tournament here the last two days. Conley getting to work early. Makes quick work of his opponents. Undefeated from Hartley, however, is Dylan Newsom, the sophomore. Newsom, state qualifier last year. Brody Conley, a junior. They qualified last year. Took fourth in 2019 at 145. Conley is nationally ranked at number 19 and is committed to Cornell.
some two to one. Conley in the lead by one. Shot by Conley. Not enough time to convert that. Conley will take a two to one lead into the second period. Choice goes to Newsom. And Newsom will choose down. The escape ties it up, kicks an ankle, not able to convert, but we are all tied up at two. 130 left in the second. Defense soap. Newsom gets the takedown with short time left in the second period. Dylan Newsom, four to two now, going into the third over Conley. Plenty of wrestling left here in the third. Shot by Conley. He's got that leg down there low. Tries to put it on the shelf there. Diving under his Newsom. Newsom in. Newsom still has the leg. 115 left. Newsom lifting that leg. Potentially dangerous. Four to three. Dylan Newsom in the lead. 113 left at 170 pounds. Division two. State of Ohio. State finals. Shot by Conley. Disappearing is Newsom. Another one by Conley. Coming out to the side is Newsom, but Conley grabs and tries to control here. Newsom looking like he's in trouble. Conley trying to lift the leg. 32 seconds left in this match. 
Newsom in the lead, Conley needing the takedown for the win. And Newsom trying to, there it is, Conley grabs the takedown. Now short time, 18 seconds left. Brody Conley adding near fall points now. Brody Conley going to be a state champ here at 170. The junior from Tiffin, Columbia gets it done. What a match here at 170. Nice battle. Brody Conley, your winner and state champ.
Freshman from Graham. Impressive wins here at the state tournament the last two days. Layman, the senior state qualifier from last year. So we got a freshman versus a senior here at 182. Takedown, Lehman, two. Takes the lead with that takedown. 35 seconds left. 35 seconds left in the second. We got a stall warning on red. Four seconds left in the second. Each of the wrestlers have a stall warning. Two to one. Layman in the lead. He's going to choose the down position to start the third period. takedown to tie inside of a minute now left at 182 layman in the lead three to one Five seconds left. <laughs> Layman grabs the leg. Trying to get those hips back. Oh. Stalemate was the call with 22 
seconds left. Reset on your feet. Layman in the lead, three to one, 182 pounds. Brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. And Zane Layman, short time now, looking to win a state title here, Division Two from Revere. Zane Layman, your winner at 182. And he brings it home. She's over here, she's over here. Match here at 95. Hayden Daniels versus Dylan Fishback. Fishback in the green from Aurora. Green ankle band. Hayden Daniels. River Valley. A senior. So two heavyweights here at 195, Fishback versus Daniels. My colleague RJ Martin telling me Hayden Daniels sporting the long win streak in the state at 90 plus wins. Daniels is a monster at 95, but also projected to be runner-up to Fishback. So we're going to get to see what's going to happen here at 95. Brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. State placer at 152. Shot there by Fishback low and able to convert very quickly. Dylan Fishback scores first. State runner up in 2019. Fishback at 152. NC State commit. He's ranked nationally. And Daniels. And he goes tilt. Nasty tilt for Fishback. Going to add near fall points on the junior from, or on the senior rather, from River Valley. 5-0. First period, fish back in the lead. Don't suck. Daniel's also a place winner in 2019. Took eight. <laughs> He's an All-American, right? He's an All-American. He's 
Let's stop blood goes down. Daniels chooses the top position to start the third period. He's in a seven point hole. Up and out is Fishback. So eight point hole for Daniels. Fishback's got 142 left for his first state title. Oh, 
grabbing the takedown and short time in the first, two seconds left. The two to zero, Snyder from CVCA in the lead.
Jets, caught by Snyder. So one stall call against both of these wrestlers. There's 19 seconds left in this bout. Kyle Snyder looking for his first state title. From CBCA at 220 pounds, Snyder is going to do it as he sports an 8-2 victory over Gex. Bryson Gex from St. Vincent St. Mary. So your winner, at 220. <laughs> This is 285 pounds, Division II state championships brought to you by Barbarian Apparel, Conquer the Impossible. One side. <laughs> First, a senior state qualifier last year. Undefeated from Minerva. Sophomore from Buckeye. Takedown for Allen from Buckeye. Trying to half is Allen. Escape for Burris, two to one. 23 seconds left in the first. Three to one, two point lead for Allen 
from Buckeye. Unsportsmanlike against Minerva, 1-4 Todd, that was a slam, so it was a huge lift, but unnecessary roughness, and it was a big hit there for the big guys, Allen has got some recovery time here. That's a, lot of, that's a big, that's a big load coming down. One penalty point in favor of Allen. He's got some recovery time here. Referee says everything's okay. Trainer says, let me look. And trainer checks off. We're going to get back to wrestling here in a quick second. Four to one. Todd Allen in the lead. What could have been a takedown for sure with the lift for Burris turns into a point the other way. Buckeye in the lead by three, four to one to score. 
285 pounds, Division II state finals. Nice, quick escape there by Burris. Burris wants to be on his feet here. He's coming after Allen. Two to four, two to four, 137 left. In the match, Allen in the lead by two. Todd Allen. 